This is my QAV250 build and I want to share just a quick and dirty how-to that I go through for tuning the PIDs on this Acronaze controller. But before I do, let me share just a few quick thoughts as it relates to this build. So my original plans were to install Pixhawk in this airframe and now I know it can be done. I got pretty close to getting everything in there and I just realized it was too cluttered. I want to do some autonomous stuff with it and, and share it with you guys. But what I've opted to do in the meantime is put a Pix Falcon in here. I have one on order when it comes. I'll walk through that setup. I'm pretty excited about that flight controller. And as it relates to this build, overall it's just a super fun build to do. There's some things that I ran into. For example, I ordered these 12 amp Simon K auto shot ESCs from GetFPV and one of them was bad. I actually got everything wired up, was in the air for about 30 seconds. I always recommend doing just that initial maiden very low altitude and this ESC failed. So that set me back about a week. I had to order a new one. Now this is the second time I've had a Lumineer ESC fail. I had one fail in the QAV 500. So just something to keep in mind. If you guys are experiencing the same, please post a comment below. I'd love to hear about it. So this is the default gains for the Acronaze. You can see that it's pretty sluggish. I mean, flies very well. What I want to do is tighten these up and get them more responsive. So let's take a look. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and connect. And now I know Clean Flight actually has the auto tune, but we're going to use Base Flight and do this manually. So for roll pitch and yaw, you can see we have 4, 4, and 8.5. So normally I'd like to start with working with roll and pitch. So I'd like to do some pretty drastic changes. So I'm going to double that from 4 to 8 and do that also for the pitch. Then I'll go down here and click save. Okay, so now let's just take a look at our P gains at eight. And I won't go too high, just so we can kind of see the difference here. So you can see that those gains are way too high. So that's why I like to keep it low. Go ahead and land and bring those down. Those were way too high at eight. So what I'd like to do, since we doubled them from four to eight, I'm actually going to go in half and reduce from eight to six. And then we're kind of, by process of elimination, getting closer to a value that we want. So I'll hit save. Let's look at our gains at six. So, not much better. Still a lot of wobble. So we'll go work on bringing those down. Okay, so at six, there was still a lot of wobble left. I'm gonna go and work down to 4.5. So that's 4.5. There's still a little wobble, a little oscillation when I give it throttle. We started off at four, so we'll probably just go right in between four, five, and four. We'll go down to 4.2 and 4.2. Now, at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and up our roll pitch and yaw rate. So these actually start at zero, so it's a little bit more difficult to know where to go with these. So I'm just gonna do 0.5 for all three, and we'll save that. I think we'll be pretty good with our P gain. Now let's see how our rates look. All right, so let's give this a go with the 4.2 on our P gain for pitch and roll, as well as 0.5 for our pitch, roll, and yaw rate. And this thing is handling really well. So as it currently stands, I'm really liking the 4.2 for the P gain on pitch and roll, as well as 0.5 for roll, pitch, and yaw rates. Now I'm going to continue to fine tune those, and in an upcoming video I'll talk a little bit about the I and D gains but this thing is flying really well. You just saw it in the garage and I'll be demonstrating just flying some more acro with flips and rolls in the field soon. And I know that was a lot of back and forth between base flight and doing a test in the air, but it's really worth spending the time doing that for your setup. 
you generally only have to do it once unless you change up anything within your airframe or your CG and it will make all the difference in the world. If you guys have any tips or suggestions, please post them below. Be on the lookout for that Pix Falcon update. I'm definitely excited about doing some autonomous work with this QAV250. And until next time, thanks for watching.